Hey you guys, I bought this microwave chip maker on Amazon and it makes potato chips and tortilla chips and bagel chips and today we're gonna find out Does this thing really work? So let's get to it. you use a mandolin to slice as you saw the potatoes I use I'm using russet potatoes and I should have read the box before of course I never follow directions it says to dry them before seasoning them which I didn't do but oh well I already seasoned them so now we're gonna load them up in this thing and it says six to nine minutes for potatoes for a full tray and four to five minutes for a half tray in the microwave so we're gonna see how many uh, little slots my potatoes fill up in this thing but I'm gonna wash it first because I want to make sure it's clean before you know putting my clean potatoes into it so I'll do that and I'll be right back So this is after six minutes. You can see that some of them look pretty done and crispy. Ooh, that broke really nice. You could hear, hear the crunch. And some of them still feel like they could use another 30 seconds or a minute. So I'm gonna put them back in for probably 30 seconds at a time until all of them feel some of them are still a little bit flimsy so i'm gonna see i'm gonna stick these back in for like 30 seconds at a time until they are crunchy like this one i don't know why it's doing it unevenly because my uh, microwave rotates on its own so i don't know but as long as they turn out in the end i'll be happy let's try it again. in the meantime let's give this one a try Oh. Mm. That is really satisfying. Good. Heck yeah. I don't think you can really beat low fat potato chips made at home that you don't have to worry about you know how much fat content is in them because I didn't put any oil on them so literally 10 out of 10 but you do have to be careful because now I can see that the ones I've just put back in the microwave are, are <coughs> sorry they're turning brown really fast so those just uh, got brown really fast and they I just stuck them in for one extra minute so you got to be careful and keep an eye on them for sure and maybe maybe on the second round if you if you're not happy with how they're crisping up I would say turn the uh, power down on your microwave to like half power and then cook them again for like another minute so that they don't burn but anyway I would totally give this like a 10 out of 10 and I know it's just a plastic tray that just basically holds the chips up but it's so convenient and easy and I mean I don't know it's just a simple little thing but it's such a good idea you know what I mean I really like it and I'm gonna be using it a lot cuz oil free potato chips I mean hello <laughs> I don't know you just can't really beat that beat that I mean I think that's pretty awesome so I would definitely recommend this little microwave chip maker and it does say that you can make tortilla chips and pita chips and bagel chips in it too so if you could do that you could probably make like apple chips warm apple chips and you could try different things in it you know to see how that works and and you know see if it would turn out or not um yeah so anyway all right i'm gonna mark one point off of it for the chips are stuck now in the thing and they're breaking as i'm taking them out gonna have to take a point off for that so i'll give it a nine a nine out of ten i um, mean you can still eat them obviously and they still taste good but i mean they're all breaking <laughs> that's my little review if you're interested in this product I'm not sponsored but I will leave a link uh, down below for you guys if you want to check it out I did get it on Amazon 
So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching my little broccoli bites and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Some probably have more salt than others. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I definitely re re recommend the bunch. <laughs> yeah, they're scarfing them down. Mm -hmm. One out of ten. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. An eight. An eight? Mm -hmm. Why? Because some chips taste kind of bad, kind of, kind of bad, but then some taste taste good. Why? Hmm? Why? You don't like the brown spots? Mm -hmm. Taste that one. I give it a nine. Yeah, the brown spots. Oh, see, I like the brown spots. I, I give it a nine. I think the brown spots are well, tasty. Actually, I give it a nine. nine? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, a the, little the, bit more. The, 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 the brown so spots add bit. flavor, but I feel like if I had like a lot, lot, lot of um, the brown spots, it wouldn't taste good anymore. Mm, I like them. But, so Garyan just says it needs more salt, which is easily fixable. Eh, needs more pepper. Pepper. I like the pepper on them. No, too. um, the dozen bunked. Huh? Dozen bunked. Oh. Yeah, pe 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 All right. Thanks for your review. Review. Bye.